Hi guys, here's the gas calibration video. And before I press play, I do want to explain my methods behind what I'm doing right now. And I just want to give you a little tip. Right here is the dial that's going to show the PSI and all the other gas measurement types. And basically, sometimes you'll move this knob right here in attempt to change the PSI, and it's not going to change the gas and you're gonna get frustrated so what I did was showed you the long end you're not gonna to need to do this every time but if you are having trouble what I want you to realize is that what I'm explaining to you is gonna show you how to move it straight from zero to the desired three to five range so just keep that in mind while you listen to this video alright here we go you're gonna grab the gas calibration box and you're gonna open this knob so that it's parallel with the tube which means it's open. It's going to allow air to flow into the box. Now you're going to come over here and you're going to twist this knob until you get to your desired three to five range of pressure. And once you're there, I'm going to come back over to the calibration box and you're going to close this line. Now, essentially, what we're about to do next is open up the line, the gas line to the actual gas tank. Now, here's where things start to get troublesome. If you don't do all this and you're trying to move things around, one valve might be closed, one might be open, and the gas needle isn't going to move. So just keep that in mind every time you have to do this multiple times. The PSI will stay the same. Sometimes it will change out of a range you don't want it to be in. Just keep all that in mind. Now, I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise to turn it on. And I know you saw that second knob right here flip up, and it showed the pressure increase. So now, what I'm doing in the background is starting the computer program. No worries here. I've got a separate video to show you everything that happens on the computer. So essentially right now on the video we're seeing the graph that we always saw before and it's going to do a room air sample every time it's going to go do a room air sample beforehand and I'm just holding the gas line to give it a good read you're gonna see the first vertical line then a second vertical line just like you always would after you see that second vertical line it's really important I'm going to get you ready. You'll see me do this really fast. So I'm going to come in here, put the sampling line into the calibration box, and then reopen that valve. And you got to do that in a relatively quick manner because it's still doing a gas calibration while all that's going on. And so now, right now, if you're looking at the graph screen, you'll see a bunch of the, the blue and red lines will fluctuate up and down to show decrease, increase, and change in gas and whatnot. So it's taking that measured gas from inside of that tank and it's measuring it to make sure that it has the right sampling and it's sampling it correctly. So it did both the room air, now we're doing the gas. And you're going to end up seeing, obviously you won't need to count every time, but about 13 vertical lines that appear on the screen before you get the prompt saying that the calibration is complete. And then a box will come up again and you'll have to verify that everything was within its acceptable ranges. But otherwise, right now, I'm just waiting to show you that after the calibration is complete, that you're going to need to take that flow line out again, close the calibration box gas line, and then close the gas tank gas line. Once all that's done, you're complete. 